I've been waiting for a free lo-fi plugin for a while now. Crab Tendo. What is going on guys? So I'm checking out Tape Cassette, which is a free lo-fi plugin and it's for Windows and Mac. So everybody gets to win on this one and it is for 32 bit and 64 bit. If you have that type of issue going on with your DAW, so everybody still wins. Uh, I will warn you guys, there is no setup execution file, so you can't install it like you would any normal stuff. I will have a video at the top right of the screen showing you how to install it on Windows. I don't have a MacBook, I do apologize. And I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it. I just wanna show you how it sounds because it's cool. All right, so first off, this is not your typical regentrified boom bap, lo-fi hip hop beat that you would hear on Chill Cow. Relax. This is the way I like to make my hip hop tracks, okay? Now that we have that disclosure out the way, let's hear how it sounds like. Oh. So that's how it sounds like. Um, I'm actually on a preset called Bass Movement. I'm gonna go ahead and addition those with, uh, it's gonna go ahead and addition some presets. <laughs> Be disgusting as hell. Oh, I do have this on the master, so it's on the master channel or track. Oh, hi fi. So you have different uh, parameters here. As you can see, you got this little nice tape UI here. It's very simple, sweet. Uh, you have saturation, you have low pass, you have noise, wow, and flutter. So uh, playing with saturation, obviously we'll do this. Oh, make it louder. You can double click on the parameters and reset them. Low pass will, I guess, will be a low pass filter. Nah, I guess not. Oh. Whatever. So I'm gonna go to noise. Let's hear how noise sounds like. Oh. So you can make it really noisy with the tape. A little hiss. And then you got wow. Oh. Sound like a tape that's been in the sun too long. All right, flutter. Oh. So I mean, it's from what I get from it, it's pretty darn, uh, I mean, it's pretty simple and sweet there. I, again, I went through the presets first, just in case you just want to be one of those Russian hurt, go ahead type people. Uh, you can uh, make your own presets, of course. I guess what you would do is go in here and make a name here. Like, I'll name that. Just type in some dribble and press save. And then, then you have a user preset right there. Yep. There you go. And that's it's pretty simple and sweet. I mean, I've, I've messed with them all. You know, some, some are better than others. I think this one right here is pretty decent. I mean, it's free. So, you know, it, it makes it all the better uh, for you to uh, check out because it's free. So, you know, why not just check it out there, you know? Uh, one thing I will point out, though, as uh, I go ahead and mute this effect here. <clears throat> and I'm going to go over here into uh, option here into your preferences in Ableton Live. It, it won't, you won't have to do this in FS Studio because FS Studio does this automatically. But Ableton Live is Ableton Live for a reason, right? You got to do things the hard way sometimes. <clears throat> so <laughs> as I was sitting there trying to open up my preface here. All right, so now that we had the preface open here, uh, you will have to go into uh, plugins. I do have the latest version of Ableton Live here, and then you will have to 
uh, turn this on and then you will have to turn on this right here as well if you want a custom if you want to look for it in a custom folder and then in particular you will have to select that custom folder for your vst 3s uh, like you would your VST2 extensions because this is a VST3 plugin so it's a, a more of the later the latest version of the VST format so yeah I just want to make sure that you know that uh, if you are Ableton head so tell me how you feel about this plugin please leave a comment below I mean it's free so you really can't be really picky about it right well sometimes free plugins do suck I'm sorry but <laughs> other than that though I do like it I mean it doesn't suck I think a lot of you lo-fi heads out there might want an alternative if you are doing free plugins and whatever so yeah lo-fi free plugin tape cassette yeah it's really cool I dig it